Come on, put your hands together this morning. Let's give God some praise. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, say, magnify the Lord with me. Come on, say clap your head. Clap your hands, rejoice and sing. You are Lord of everything. You are Lord of everything. Come on, let's sing it together. Say, I will. I will bless the Lord. Come on, say bless the Lord. again, Carver. Good morning. It is a blessing to see you. Thank you so much for being here for our guests, for our membership. Thank you so much for coming to church this morning. Thank you for those who are online watching as well. I'm here to give you a scripture, give you a prayer, some quick announcements and get out of your way. And so for the scripture, I just wanted to look quickly at the book of Psalms. Psalm number 91, very familiar psalm. Some of you, it might be your favorite psalm. Psalm number 91, just going to look at a few verses. 
verses 14, 15, 16. The book of Psalm, Old Testament, should be right there in the middle of your Bible. Psalm 91, 14, 15, 16. The ESV version reads like this, if you have it. Because he holds fast to me in love, I will deliver him. I will protect him because he knows my name. When he calls to me, I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will rescue him and honor him. With long life, I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Just a few verses of Psalm 91. You can take your seat. Wouldn't it be good to know that that's how God thinks about you? That when you call, when you're in trouble, he says, I need to be there because he, he or she belongs to me. That's my child. I'm going to respond. I'm going to give them long life. I'm going to show up and give them my salvation because they know my name. Just, I don't know about you, but that does something to me. I love hearing that. I love believing that that's how God looks at me, that when I call on him, he's, he's listening. And he's not just listening just to take notes. He's listening because he plans to show up. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we come this morning. We are grateful for just another opportunity, another day, another moment in your house. We say thank you. We say thank you because you have been so good. You've been better than good. You've been beyond good. You've we say beyond good because the truth is, if it was based on what we deserve, we should have gotten a whole lot less. But you've been beyond good to us, and we come into your house, we lift our hands, we open our mouths, and we tell you thank you. We thank you because you've been so good, you've been so kind, so compassionate, so loving and forgiving and merciful to us, we just say thank you. There are so many issues, there's so many situations that we are dealing with, but God, help us to set that aside. Help us to set aside every weight, every sin that easily besets us. Help us to just focus in on you this morning. Help us to know that our help comes from you. Our strength comes from you. Every blessing comes from you. All of our comfort comes from you. Help us to just be in touch with you today. We thank you for this opportunity. We thank you for the man of God that you've allowed to come this morning to share the word. We ask you to just let him stand with clarity and with boldness and to declare everything that you've put on his heart to present to us today. We stand in the need of hearing from you, dear Heavenly Father. We need to hear from you. We need a word from you. And we ask you to bless that word this morning. Bless each of us as we are here. Bless us when we depart. We thank you. We love you. We ask all of these things in your son Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. In the way of our quick announcements, uh, the funeral services for Brother Alvin Hicks will be this Saturday, this Saturday, March the 16th at noon. The address, uh, the, the place, the location is going to be Grace Memorial Chapel. That's in the city of Inglewood, 3443 West Manchester Boulevard. Um, we're asking that you would please keep the Hicks Simmons families in your prayers. The repast will be here at Carver. And so just letting you know, the services will be in Inglewood. The repast will be here at the church, right? So, um Keep that family in your prayers. Keep the Carver family in your prayers because when we lose any member, it's a loss to all of us. And so continue to pray for the Hicks Simmons family. Um, in, the ter in terms of announcements, you will see if you're sitting on the ends of the benches, there are some index cards that were placed out there. Um, we're gonna try a two-pronged approach in terms of kind of getting information out a little bit more clear, a little bit more consistently. So the index cards are there. Um, if you are a member and you want us to send information to you, either via text, via email, give us your name, give us your phone number, give us your email so that we can be in contact and communication with you. 
At the same time, we will also, everything that I announce from up here as the announcer, we will also have on our website, our Carver Church website, carverchurchlosangeles.com. So please, between one of those two approaches, we don't want it to be said that, oh, I didn't know that, I didn't know that was happening. So all of our announcements going forward, we're trying to get them to you so that you know what's happening here at church, okay? Last but not least, uh, well, a couple, one more thing. April the 27th, we want you to just save that date. That is a Saturday, April the 27th. We're thinking 2 o'clock, April the 27th at 2 o'clock. Uh, the deacons would like to share with the congregation some information, uh, business information, a business meeting with the congregation, April the 27th at 2 o'clock. You'll get more information as that date gets closer, but just know, April the 27th, save that date. It's a Saturday. Now, we're blessed to have with us this morning as a visitor, Reverend Hennon. He's here with us today, and we want to make him feel welcome. Thank you so much for joining us, Reverend Hennon. And we have with us to preach this morning, uh, Dr. Raymond Chandler. He is here. We are so excited that you are here, uh, Dr. Chandler. Dr. Chandler is um, an official candidate, so you can take note. You can write his name down, make sure that you are really paying attention. Um, he is here with his family, his wife and his daughter. And I see, uh, <laughs> I'm not sure if you're, Son, okay, the son is here as well. We, we are grateful to have all of you here with us uh, this morning. And so I'll explain it again, just to be very clear. He is a, he is a candidate. He, is not, uh, has, he does not have the official recommendation from the pulpit committee as of yet, but we wanted you to be able to see him as a congregation and hear him. And so that you will know what he sounds like. You can know his ability to preach. He'll be here Wednesday night in person, Bible study, 630. He already has a lesson prepared. And so we're asking the membership to come here and just be involved in this process. It is a process. Sometimes it's a little bit uncomfortable. It, it may feel like it's taken a while. But the truth is, we, the selection that we make of the new pastor, we're hoping if we do it right, if we let God lead us, that person will take us into a whole different stratosphere in terms of uh, just the, the next generation, the future of Carver. That's what we're hoping. We're hoping that we never have to go through this process again. And so we're hoping that we will let God lead us to make the right choice, the choice that he wants for this congregation. So having said all that, I'm going to go ahead and get out the way. Um, Thank you for being here, Dr. Chandler. We look forward to hearing from you. After the praise team sings their next election, the next voice you will hear is that of Dr. Raymond Chandler. Yes. How many of y'all know y'all blessed? I said, how many of y'all know y'all blessed? Come on, I can hear you. How many of y'all know y'all blessed? Come on, put your hands together right here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Yeah. 
praise with them. Oh, come on, bless his name, bless his name. How many know that late in the midnight hour, God, God, God will show up, get involved in that thing, and turn it all the way around. I said, he'll turn it all the way around. Oh, bless his name. And I don't know about you, but I'm glad that I serve a God that will get involved in my situations. I say he'll get involved in my situation. All I got to do is wake him up. All I have to do is wake him up. What, what, what are you talking about? Do you remember uh, in Mark chapter 4 when, the, when Jesus was on board, he was asleep on a pillow, and, and a storm came, and Jesus just stayed asleep until they decided to go and wake him up. And when they woke him up, what did he tell the storm? Peace, be still. Can I tell you, he can tell every storm in your life, every situation in your life, every heartache in your life, every burden, every pain, he can tell it, peace, be still. He can tell it to get in order. Amen. Amen. God bless you today. We praise God for you. What a joy it is for us to be here today to share with you Harbor Church of Los Angeles. And certainly, gracious to God, gracious to God, gracious to God that he has seen fit to give us another day. Amen. This is the day that the Lord has made. And today I will on purpose rejoice and be glad in it. Oftentimes we forget how great God is and how great he's been to us. But I want to encourage you today to remember that God is great. And he is worthy of great praise. Amen. Uh, amen. One guy, one guy, there, one guy, two guys, three guys. He's worthy of great praise, great praise, great praise. Not, 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 not average, not mediocre, but he's worthy of our very best every time we get a chance. Amen. Praise God again for all of you, and certainly we are grateful for the invitation to come. We pray God's blessings upon you, and we're grateful to God that my wife and children are here with me today. Amen. Help me celebrate them. Help me celebrate them. Um, on Wednesday nights, we do a family Bible study, and my baby girl, she hadn't been on. She wasn't on this week. And I was wondering, I said, what is going on? She lives in Texas. And uh, she lives in Texas, my baby girl. And... Um, we have a family Bible study on Wednesday, and she wasn't on. I was trying to figure out why she wasn't on. And she was preparing to make her way here to be with us today. Amen. She's on spring break. <laughs> spring break college student, junior over at uh, Prairie View University in Houston, Texas. Amen. Amen. Son, they had surprise, walked in. They're all grown, so when they come, I get excited. Amen. <laughs> and a business owner and entrepreneur, praise God for him. And all of you. Anyway, hey man, let's get to it. <laughs> Father, I thank you now for this time that we have together, and I pray your richest blessings upon uh, this experience today, and that you allow the words of our mouth and the meditations of our heart to be acceptable in thy sight. Oh, Lord, you are our strength and our redeemer. Bless now as thou see fit. Where should I see of the need? In Jesus' name. And everybody say, amen. amen. And again, grateful to God for all the officers and members, church and sister stuff. God bless you. Praise God for you as well. I want to... Um, Look in today, book of Psalm number 72. Book of Psalm number 72. Now, I encourage all of us uh, this Wednesday night at uh, 6.30 to uh, come out and be a part of our time together. Bible study. We'll be able to slow down a little bit and share the word of God. Amen. And uh, 
lessons will be available for you if you get it early to kind of fill in those blanks, <laughs> ask your questions. Amen. Are we there? Psalm 72? Amen. Verse number 18. I want to read to us just one verse. Verse number 18. And uh, Bless be the Lord God, the God of Israel, who only does wonderful things. Amen. Amen. Bless, bless Barak. Um, it literally means to salute or praise, right? To, to, to uh, show adoration to him. It says, bless great is the Lord our God who does only wonderful things. Amen. I want to um, talk about God is good all the time. Amen. Amen. I say God is good all the time. My brothers and my sisters, just like the sun radiates heat, God radiates goodness. Are y'all going to walk with me? I, I said, just like the sun shines uh, bright and uh, heat comes from the sun, God, he radiates. What comes from him is good. Are y'all going to walk with me? It, it, it's not just what he does. Yeah, my brothers and sisters, it is who he is. Oh, bless his name. God's very nature uh, is good. And it's important that we recognize uh, the goodness of God. Are y'all going to walk with me? And uh, when, when you look back over your life, uh, when, when you look back over uh, all of the hills and valleys he's brought you through, uh, you look back over the years of your life, you can uh, testify, Reverend, that God is, help me somebody, good. Yeah, 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 he's good, he's good, he's good. When, 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 when you look at the medical report was bad, uh, but you're still here. <laughs> that, that's the goodness of God. Amen. Uh, I can think about the goodness of God in my own life. 25 years ago, I walked into a church to preach. Uh, met Sister Leslie sitting there. She was sitting on the piano. Uh, and here we are 25 years later. That's the goodness of God. Uh, are y'all going to walk with me? Uh, I look at my children. They're healthy and whole and, 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 and making a future for themselves. Ah, uh, that's the goodness of God. The, the, the Bible says in James 1 and 17 that every good and perfect gift comes from above, coming down from our heavenly Father. Oh, my brothers and my sisters, whether it is large or small, uh, it comes from God. Whether it is big or tall, it comes from God. Uh, the other day, my wife and I, we went to a track meet. And uh, while we pulled up at the university there, it, it was so crowded. It was, wasn't a parking space anywhere. Uh, 
we either going to have to park way down the street or, or go back home. <laughs> but just when we got ready to uh, pull off, uh, right in the front, parking spot pulled off, pulled off, and we went right in and let us in. You know what that was? <laughs> the goodness of God. What am I trying to tell you? Whether it's big or small, whatever it is, when it pushes you forward, moves you forward, it is the goodness of God. And my brothers and sisters, we have to recognize God's goodness in all of that we do, in all that we receive, in all that we partake of. Yeah, you're going through a difficult time and a friend stops by out of the blue and blesses you. You know what that is? That, that's the goodness of God. Oh, bless his name. And today, I want us to praise God for his goodness. To, yeah, today, I want us to clap our hands and stomp our feet because God is so good. Today, I want us to get into our mindset that we have to barack him. We have to bless the Lord because when we T-H-I-N-K, when we think about how good he is, we can begin to thank him for being so good to us. I mean, for looking beyond our fault. Seeing every one of our needs, for, for opening doors that were closed in our face, for closing doors uh, that needed to be closed. My brothers and sisters, I'm trying to tell us that God is good. And he is good all of the time. Uh, the Bible says that God was in their midst. And they knew him not. My brothers and sisters, too many times God is working in our lives, uh, showing us favor and uh, working out the details for us and protecting us and blessing us and healing us. And we do not recognize God's goodness. My brothers and sisters, I want to tell us, don't take it for granted. Uh, don't take God's goodness for granted. Uh, don't take it for granted that you met the right person. It, it wasn't a coincidence. Uh, it, it was the goodness of God. Uh, it, it wasn't a lucky break that you got the job you were looking for. Uh, yeah, it was the goodness of God. Uh, it wasn't that you did everything right, that your children are doing well. Uh, it is the goodness of God. Uh, and all I'm trying to tell us is uh, that my brothers and sisters, we are not take advantage it for granted that God is good to you. Uh, we ought not take it for granted that God uh, made a way for you. Uh, we ought not take it for granted that God uh, has been kind to you. Uh, we ought not take it for granted the food that he put on our tables, uh, the clothes we were able to put on our back, roof over our head. Uh, and mama used to say, reasonable portion of health and strength. Uh, we are not take it for granted the goodness of God, but in all times we ought to have on our lips a praise for us to bless the Lord because he is good. Uh, yes, he is. Yes, he is. Yes, he is. And it's the goodness of God. It, it, it's God being good to you uh, that have allowed us and allowed our days to roll on uh, just a little while longer. Uh, oh, oh, bless his name. Uh, and all through the day, all through the day, we should be saying, dear God, thank you. 
Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your loving kindness. Thank you for my health. Thank you for my strength. Dear God, thank you for my family. Thank you for my children. And thank you for my grandchildren. And thank you for a roof over my head. And thank you for closing me in my right mind. Dear, dear God, thank you for the food I was able to eat. And thank you, dear God, that uh, I can put one foot in front of the other. Dear God, thank you for your grace. Thank you for your love. Thank you that I'm still alive today. Uh, thank you that if it had not been for you on my side, uh, I don't know where I would be. Uh, if it had not been for God's goodness, uh, if it had not been for his mercy, if it had not been for his grace, uh, the songwriter said it could have been me. I feel the Holy Ghost. Uh, it could have been me outdoors. Uh, it could have been me no food. Uh, it could have been me no clothes. Uh, it could have been me all left alone uh, without a friend. Uh, oh, but you didn't let these things be. Uh, but every day and every hour you keep on keeping me. Uh, and so I want to say thank you for all you've done for me. Uh, well, now, my brothers and my sisters, uh, uh, the answer to the question is, uh, uh, how much praise will we give God? Uh, the answer is, I'm going to give him my very best. Uh, the answer is, I will bless the Lord at all times, uh, and his praises shall continually uh, be in my mouth. Uh, oh, bless his name. Uh, well, now we may not know all the answers to life's questions. Uh, Isaiah 55 says his ways are not our ways. Uh, neither is his thoughts our thoughts. Uh, we may not know everything about God, uh, but we do know that he is good. Uh, Oh, glory to God. I said we may not know answers to every question. Uh, and we may not know everything about God. Uh, but one thing we do know is uh, that God is good. Uh, yes, my Lord. Uh, well, now, how do we know then that he is good? Good. Uh, well, in our text today, uh, I see at least three things to help us to understand uh, that God is good. Uh, the first thing I see, well, he is good because of who he is. Oh, bless his name. Uh, God is good and God is holy. Yeah, he is holy. And I was reading in Isaiah chapter 6. Uh, the Bible says that in the year that King Uzziah died. Uh, the Bible says, uh, he said, I looked up and I saw the Lord. And he was high and lifted up. And the glory of his train filled the temple. And he said there were angels flying around with six wings. Uh, uh, two wings to, uh, to veil my face and uh, two wings to, to veil my feet uh, and two wings he did fly uh, and they cried out one to another holy, holy, holy uh, and the earth is full or filled with his glory uh, I'm trying to tell us, my brothers and my sisters, uh, that God is holy. Uh, oh, bless his name. Uh, yeah, and God is good because uh, of who he is. Uh, yeah, he is kind. Uh, he is wonderful. Uh, he is all 
altogether loving. Uh, he is gracious. He is merciful. Uh, God is holy. Uh, and the holiness of God, uh, because he is holy, uh, evil and holiness uh, cannot exist coexist. Lord bless his name. I said if God is so good and because God is so holy then holiness and evil cannot coexist. And so then God is good and God is holy then uh, uh, the attribute that we can praise him for is because of his holiness, because his holiness, his holiness is that thing that allows you and I to qualify to make it into the kingdom of heaven, because in my own self I am no good, but praise be to God, we are covered by the holiness of of his blood uh, and it covers us and it makes us white as snow uh, and so my brothers and sisters we can celebrate uh, on the fact that he is good uh, and he is good all the time uh, but then the second thing I see is uh, not only is he good because of who he is but God is good because of what he has done. Oh, bless his name. I said he is good because of who he is. But my brothers and my sisters, he is good because of what he has done. I feel the Holy Ghost uh, and uh, we can see the goodness of God uh, in what he has uh, done for us uh, yeah in creation uh, ain't God alright uh, for when we look at uh, what God has done uh, it reveals uh, his goodness uh, for you and I uh, ain't God all right uh, how God uh, took a handful of nothing uh, in this hand uh, and then took another handful of nothing in this hand uh, and then put it all together uh, and made the heavens and the earth uh, yeah the goodness of God is revealed uh, in creation uh, how he put the wet in water uh, yes my lord uh, and how uh, he put birds uh, to fly in the air uh, uh, and the old preacher that baptized me uh, used to say uh, how he put hair on a gorilla uh, uh, and growl uh, in the lion. Uh, nobody um, but the Lord uh, ain't God all right. Uh, my brother and my sister, I'm trying to tell us, uh, yes, Lord, uh, is that the goodness of God uh, is revealed uh, uh, in creation. Uh, how he took the sun uh, and slung it 93 miles, 100 mi million miles uh, away from the earth. Uh, one mile closer, uh, we will burn up from the heat uh, one mile further uh, we would freeze from the cold uh, I'm trying to tell us that God is good uh, uh, ain't God all right uh, and my brother and my sister uh, all you have to do uh, is look at all 
all of the wonders of the world. Uh, and it will remind us uh, that we have a God. Uh, yeah, that's good uh, and has been good to you and to me. Uh, yeah, Lord, uh, and the Bible says uh, in Psalms 19 uh, that the heavens declare his goodness uh, and glory uh, and the goodness of God uh, is revealed uh, by what is done for us uh, not only in creation uh, but what is done for us uh, when he redeemed us. Uh, ain't God all right? Uh, ain't that something to shout about? Uh, yeah, Lord. Uh, it's something to shout about uh, that he is a redeemer. Uh, yes, he uh, he's a mighty good savior. Uh, he's a mighty good redeemer. Uh, he's a redeemer uh, of the best kind. Uh, and Romans 5 and 8 says, uh, but God uh, commended his love toward us uh, in that while uh, we were yet sinners. Christ died for you and for me. Uh, ain't it all right? Uh, I'm talking about Jesus now. Uh, he's a redeemer. Uh, he's a savior. Uh, yes, Lord. Uh, and he died uh, for you and for me. Uh, well, now, brothers and sisters, uh, I'm getting ready to close here now. Uh, the first thing we see uh, is God is good uh, and it reveals uh, who he is. Uh, the second thing we see uh, in God being good uh, is revealed uh, uh, what he has done. Uh, but then my brother and my sister, uh, the third thing is uh, the goodness of God uh, reveals uh, what he is doing right now. Uh, oh, oh, bless his name. Uh, right now now uh, he's working out the details for us uh, right now uh, he's making crooked ways straight uh, right now uh, he's healing sick bodies uh, right now uh, he's answering all of our questions uh, right now uh, he's blessing us when we were bent Right now, uh, he's curing us uh, of all of our calamities. Uh, right now, uh, he's making a way uh, for you and me. Uh, right now, uh, he's bringing us uh, through trials and troubles. Uh, right now. Uh, he's helping us uh, right now. Uh, he's picking us up, uh, healing our bodies uh, right now. Uh, he is uh, fixing uh, our situations, uh, turning dark days uh, uh, into bright mornings, uh, turning sorrow uh, uh, into joy, uh, turning pain. Uh, uh, into pleasure uh, uh, ain't God alright uh, right now uh, he's doing it uh, Uh, 
it revealed uh, yeah what he's doing right now uh, and right now uh, he's revealing us uh, I read something uh, the other day uh, that said uh, in Psalms uh, number 107 uh, the redeemed of the Lord uh, uh, ought to say so the redeemed of the Lord uh, uh, ought to say so uh, brothers and sisters uh, since God is so good uh, since God is so wonderful uh, since God is so precious uh, since God is so kind uh, I wonder Saturday evening, I was watching the show called Cops, and I watched the show called Cops, and I heard the arresting officer saying to the one that was being arrested, you have the right to remain silent, anything you say will be used against you when the court of the law well my brother and my sister we're not on the television show you're not going to a court of law you haven't been arrested but I have a question for you will the redeemed of the law say so if the law has done something for you say so Can I tell you one more thing? I got one more thing to tell you. Why you can praise him. Why you can lift him up. One Friday. One Friday. One Friday. They hung him high. One Friday. They stretched him wide. He died.
bless his name. Come on, give God a hand of praise. Come on, come on. Everybody stand up. As we extend the privileges of the church, the doors are open. I invite you to T-H-I-N K. I invite you to think about how good he is and how good he's been to you. And if you really think on it, if you really think on it, you'll begin to thank him. I say if you really, really just think on it, you'll begin to thank him for all of his many blessings and benefits that he has bountifully bestowed upon you. You begin to thank him for another day's journey. You begin to thank him for, like mama used to say, a reasonable portion <laughs> of health and strength. And I wonder today if there's someone here but preacher, I've fallen off. I, I become like a danger to about God. I, I realize he didn't move, I moved. And I find myself out of the ark of safety. Today is your day. Now is your time. This moment is your moment. Won't you come? As we extend the privileges, the goodness of God says that he is a redeemer. I say he is a redeemer. And can I tell you, if you have not fallen too far away, that the love of God can come and reach down wherever you are, pick you up, <laughs> turn you around. Place your feet on solid ground. God bless you today. You've been so good. So good. Come on, think about it. You've been woo. when I look back over my life. <laughs> nobody but him. Yeah, yeah. You've been so. so many doors. 
Lord to yourself. <laughs> it has to be a personal testimony, y'all. How God has been good to me. You can't tell it like I can tell it. How he's been good to me. God bless you today. Let's give God another hand clap of praise. I want to remind us that this Wednesday night, this Wednesday night, this Wednesday night, as we come forward at 6.30, we will be here, down here in the sanctuary for God and the Word. Wednesday Word Day. Amen. Amen. And uh, looking forward, looking forward to sharing with you and getting a chance to really dialogue and answer questions and talk to us and share our convictions further with you. Uh, if you want a lesson, they are making copies even as we speak. Uh, please, oh, we have some. Uh, we're making them. We, we can purchase uh, uh, copies. Take that home with you. Chew on it a little bit. And do uh, fill in the blanks and what you think. Amen. And, and let's show up on Wednesday night and discuss it. Show up on Wednesday night and discuss it. So, uh, y'all didn't hear nothing. I said it again. Deacon Perkins has the lesson, and pick one up, take it home, chew on it this week, and uh, we'll have the time, a few fill in the blanks, a few uh, questions, and what you think on it, and fill it in, and let's have a good dialogue on Wednesday night. Amen? Amen. Amen. Be here. I mean, we start, if we start at 6.30, 7.30, we going home. Is that all right? I said, is that all right? <laughs> Amen. And it'll be bright outside because the sun, I mean, the, the time don't went up. Amen. And so it won't be too dark. And we praise God for those of you that made it here right at 1030. Amen. And those of you who got caught slipping a little bit, we praise God for you. You made it too. Give yourself some love. Come on, come on. Give yourself some love. All right. I believe that's all. We're going to pray and dismiss. I think we'll receive our gifts uh, as we exit the sanctuary. And so let us all stand, let us stand, let us stand. Father God, we thank you. We bless you for being so good to us. We bless you for being the God that is good, not part of the time, not some of the time, but all of the time. And Master, we pray now that your goodness Go with us and carry us. Continue to take us from one good degree to another, from strength to strength, and from glory to glory. In the name of Jesus. Now, Master, I pray your blessings upon the offering today, the gifts and the givers. Bless as thou see fit, whereas to thy see every one of our needs. In Jesus' name. Thank you for the Carver Church. Thank you for his leadership. Thank you for his membership. I pray your blessings upon them, your strength, your guidance. Help them to see you clearly in Jesus' name. Now be with us as we go in from here and dismiss us from this place, but never from your presence. And we'll be careful to give you all of the honor, praise, and glory. In the name of Jesus, we pray. And everybody said, amen.